everybody in this video we are going to watch how do I made this project this is an amazing project it is a something called POV project or persistent of vision project uh, you could make a lot of animations with uh, this kind of project and it is amazing uh, I hope that you enjoyed it and you could make it if you want please like share and subscribe to my channel that helps me a lot to make more videos like this one thank you so much The main idea around this project is that our eyes has a limitation. They can't process a lot of information that is incoming. So they freeze the information that the eyes achieve. Our eyes doesn't allow to a high refresh rate that they can receive. This is the mistake that we take advantage of. There are lots of projects that use this disadvantage in his favor. Some ones like the LED cube, the matrix, LED matrices, and many more. You know now that the incoming, highly frequency incoming of the information in our eyes generates that we could watch animations, you could watch uh, something like a test, you could watch a lot of things and that help us to that other project works. It is important to make a note in this part of the video. You could watch in some animations that you are watching in this video there exists a flickering, something like flick, uh, flickers in the test that is rotating. That happens because the frequency rate of the cameras and the rate of video. This happened because of that, but in real life it doesn't happen. The materials in this project are really common. The first one are 24 resistors of 100 ohms, the same uh, number of LED lights, 16 blue one and 8 red one, and 3 chief registers like we use in LED cube. The controller of the project is an Arduino Nano. This is one of the smallest Arduino in the market. The sensor that we use in this project is a hold effect sensor that detects a magnetic field. The source of this project are two lithium batteries that are connected in series that help us to uh, achieve around 7 volts. This voltage is needed because the chief register needs 5 volts. And that's it, those are the materials that we need to build the rotating part. The other elements that generates the rotations, I use a brushless motor that are using quad cords, the ESC that is the controller of the brushless motor, and I use um, a receiver and a lipo battery and a radio transmitter and receiver. Okay, let's talk about the connection of the electronics. The main pieces are the chief register that are connected in series. This connection allows to handle the 24 LED lights. I left this connection in the description below. You can watch right now that one register of those handle 8 lights. In the other hand we have two LiPo batteries connected in series that uh, help us to increase the voltage around to 7 7.2 volts and that voltage are connected in the uh, voltage input of the arduino and the arduino regulates that voltage and generates a uh, 5 volts and this voltage is used mainly by the chief register 
and the whole sensor. We have to take in count some connections between the Arduino and the chief registers. The first one is the data connection that is uh, connected to the 11 pin of the Arduino. Other important connection is the 13 pin of the Arduino that is the clock connection of the chief register. Finally, the pin 2 of the Arduino is the latch connection of the chief register. Those are the three main pins that have been connected to the pins of the chief registers. It is important to note that the output of one chief register it is the input of the other one. This is the normal working of this kind of devices. And finally, the connection of the whole sensor. This sensor is connected to the pin 3 of the Arduino and it is very easy to use it. This sensor only needs the, the source of 5 volts and the output it is connected to the pin 3 of the Arduino and that's it. This sensor generates an output of that generates a change of the tension of the voltage of the output if the sensor detects a magnetic field. And that's it. The more important key in this project is to try to take a balance in this circuit because those vibrations generate lots of problems. I'm going to let this video right here because it is long at this time and I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you understand uh, the ideas that I try to communicate to you and, and that's it, it's very simple uh, to build this kind of project but uh, we have to take in account some uh, other things like vibrations, like balancing elements in the circuit. In the next video, I am going to uh, explain the codes of this project and that's it. Uh, we, I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you subscribe to my channel, that you uh, share this content and I hope that you enjoyed it, uh, everything that I tried to teach you. Thank you so much. Uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.